The community of Oak Hill had a ribbon cutting for a new West Virginia American Water Operations Center. The water company is relocating from a facility that they have essentially outgrown to one that is expected to not only improve the lives of field crews maintaining water infrastructure, but also the experience of their customers living in the Oak Hill area. Newswatch reporter Mike Teeny was there to get the story. West Virginia American Water celebrated a move to a new operations center in Oak Hill on Wednesday. The old site was near the water tower in Oak Hill and, as often goes, had become outgrown. And the move is now official. A little bit older facility. It was kind of cramped. It didn't have the space that we needed to, uh, to uh, do a little bit of expansion and have bring in some more equipment, bring in some more ability to just, again, serve you know, our customer base. Uh, so we started looking for a facility that allows us to have a little more room and so forth to do that. The new operations center is at 550 Industrial Drive in Oak Hill. This is not a water treatment center, but rather something like a warehouse where staff can store equipment and work out of. Uh, we have another facility on the New River where we actually do the treatment side of the process that feeds the water to these customers. But this is all the crews that do the work that out in the field, the ones you see in the community every day taking care of our customers. The new location will immediately help the field crews do their work with more efficiency, which will have an intended result of improved customer service. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're excited. I mean, uh, you know, having a, you know, a facility that, that gives them the room to do some things allows them to expand some of the uh, equipment that we can use and how we can store that and how we can do work on, on, on things when we need to. They chose to renovate an existing structure rather than build from scratch, and the process took around nine months. We're going to have to spend money on the facility because of its age and trying to, again, do better by our customers. If we're going to spend dollars on a facility, it makes more sense to spend those dollars in one that will serve us for, you know, many, many years to come versus a short-term solution where maybe we'd have to respend those dollars. So we just want to do it one time and be as effective and efficient for our customers as we can. And if you're a customer of West Virginia American Water, I know just what you're thinking. Is this going to affect water rates? And so the reality is whenever we do capital investment, there is a chance that that would go into rates uh, at, a, at a later date. Uh, but ultimately, rates are set by and determined by the Public Service Commission. Uh, so yes, it, there are some capital investments that we made here. Uh, and there is a chance that we may be asking for recovery of those capital investments. Uh, but again, ultimately, it's up to the Public Service Commission what ends up being in water rates or not. Reporting from Oak Hill, this is Mike Teeny, Newswatch 4.